Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got on the bench the Mojave. This thing is insane. It looks great. We're going to get into it. Stay tuned. Yeah, so we were at the hobby shop and I was like, you know, my local hobby shop and I'm like, oh, they got a Mojave in stock. Let's get one. Now this truck comes in red, it comes in green, and we ended up going with the red. Uh, we just, the red looked cool, the green looks good also, but for us, we wanted the red. So let's get this thing out of the box and see what it looks like. Oh wow, that looks pretty. Look at that, brand spanking new. Oh. Now, I think this truck's gonna be strapped down in here. So, you got this box here. I'm sure all the controller and everything. We did go with the, um, the ready to run on this truck. Let's get a nice close up of this bad boy in the box before we pull it out. Definitely looking good. Definitely nice graphics on the body on this truck. It definitely looks really, really nice. Really detailed interior with that interior roll cage. Go ahead and pull these body clips off this. And we could pull the uh, body off. See what this chassis looks like. I think it's going to look... Spectacular. Get it off of here. Now, I believe there is Velcro on the body on the sides here. And that helps hold the body on. So, got to just get your hands down on the side there. And pull that off. I'm not sure what's going on here. Doesn't want to come off too easy. I don't know if it's all... Feels like it actually came off of the body. Yeah. Got something going on there. Feels like the Velcro came off the body. There we go. Alright, let's see what's going on there. Oh yeah, okay. So the Velcro is on the side of the body there. Get a view of that. It just comes right there. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely really, really nice job and detailed. With the drivers in there. And their helmets on. Ready for some thrashing, bashing, and crashing, baby. Alright, so let's talk about the body real quick. So this body here. It actually has this cage that you see on the top of the body, inside in there. This actually serves as a really good protection um, for this body because you can see this mount here. That actually sits on top of that chassis brace right there, okay? And when the impact, when you're rolling and thrashing and bashing and crashing, what, which is what we like to do here, that takes a lot of the hit. So that's a really cool feature on this truck. Go ahead and throw this body beside. Oh, that Velcro gets a little sticky. And we're gonna go ahead and get this chassis out of here. We got some massive zip ties holding that thing in there. Wow, this thing looks really good just uh, looking at it with the body off. It's got some great shock towers there, some great shocks. Tires are looking nice for a desert racer. Desert truck, this thing's looking pretty nice. Got some good brace braces here on the chassis. Um, now this is a RTR model, okay? So we got all the electronics in here. You can get the roller, and the roller comes with a lot more upgrades for this truck. But we ended up going with the RTR so that we could just get out there and thrash, bash, and crash this thing. Because that's what we just want to do. And we will replace stuff as we break it on this truck. 
Because you know we are going to break something. Alright, let's get in here and get these zip ties cut and pull this chassis out of here and get a good look at that. another thick bad boy back here all right there's two see that suspension just came right up on this truck as we cut those zip ties there oh yeah it's feeling nice Definitely. all right so let's get into the uh the box here this box that comes in here you're gonna have your remote in here and all the good stuff. This truck, I gotta tell you, the, just looking at it, the uh, the body, I really like the graphics on this truck. I mean, it just, it's super colorful. It's it's great looking. Um, and there's definitely some great features on this body. Let me just point out also that these rub rails on the top, so when you're thrashing, bashing, crashing that thing, and you flip that thing over, you get a good shot of those. Those are really going to protect it, along with the cage. All right, that cage in there, and like I said, the center support here, that's going to do some great, great protection, give you great protection. So, controllers in the bag here. We got our Spectrum STX2 controller. It's got some good features on here, like your, your uh, trim throttle, steering, and all that stuff. Um, you're going to be putting uh, four AA batteries in the controller to run that. And guys, what's great about this truck? This thing's 6S, man. We're going to have power to the wheels on this thing. It's going to rock. Open up the bag here. This is the old goodie bag with all your stuff in here. You got your books, your toolkits, all that good stuff. Shock parts, comes with your bind plug, bind the baby up, Arma tool kit, pretty decent. So guys, this truck is 4S or 6S LiPo, all right? This is that high speed gear, all right? This is for your smooth surfaces, okay? This truck, I mean, you could run this thing in, uh, you know, pretty much all terrains, but when you're using this gear, this is where you're going to get your 60 mile an hour, all right? Uh, standard gearing is for more off-road. We are probably going to leave it in that. We, we really didn't get this truck to do high-performance speed races. We bought this for the track that we're building out in the backyard, all right? So that's where we're going to be taking this truck mostly, the grass, the dirt. You know, we're going to be on-road on some also, pavement. Got your stickers. And you got your book, Mojave Manual, baby. All right. Now, Arma did a nice job on this truck, I believe. I really, I think they they did a nice job. I, uh, you know, checked it out. Checked out some videos when this thing first came out. Um, let's get right into the chassis. So, first thing up is your, your front bumper there which is a really, really nice bashable bumper. Down on the bottom here, we got a rubber flap. So if you kind of hit anything with that, it's got give to it, okay? Um, we've got pretty much a, a shock absorbing bumper up here. The way that's designed, that's gonna take a load pretty good. So if you're, you know, bashing this thing and you land down hard on the nose, that should take a pretty good punch to the face and it carries right into the chassis so on this one we'll talk about the shocks real quick uh they did go with the five millimeters on this uh the shock towers here it really beefed it up these are your normal um armor shocks but they did go with bigger eyelets on the bottom of your shock to take that bashing uh the tires on this truck Really look pretty nice. Looks like they're gonna grab uh, your sand and dirt and grass, even the pavement. Um, 
Kind of a hard compound, I would say. I think they're going to perform well. Um, let's go with this chassis brace right here. Um, that's going to work real well with your flex into the chassis as far as cupping. Um, we did have our local hobby shop since we do run all Traxxas batteries um, and Traxxas connectors, I should say. Uh, we had the hobby shop put on uh, connectors for us while we were picking this bad boy up. All right, let's get into the servo. So the steering servo is a uh, 15 kilogram metal gear servo, 195 ounce. Uh, it should perform very, very well. We got the ESC. We have, remember guys, this truck uh, is all waterproof, waterproof electronics on it. Uh, you got the BLX 185 waterproof ESC, uh, capable of 4S or 6S. We'll jump into the motor. We've got the BLX 4074 2050 KV brushless motor in this bad boy, in this desert racer. Give you a shot of that. And for the gearing, guys, we got metal gears in there. So, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to get a good angle. Uh, I don't know if I could get it in there. The camera. Try to get you guys a good view. All right, guys. So, one thing I wanted to do, point out on this truck, is you got a lot of aluminum parts on this. A lot of great features. Um, the steering, it connects to the tie rods here. That's all aluminum. You got aluminum nuts out here your dog bones up in the front all great strong stuff ready for some bashing um great features they did in this just get some nice views of that for you all right they did really nice job on the suspension on this so and then going back to uh the steering on this you got a uh, great bell crank set up on this with the steering uh steering saver on there we got some, th this truck has super flexibility, guys, for a suspension. I mean, it's just got a lot of travel suspension. Just another thing to point out on this truck, and it does have all independent suspension. So we've got this, you know, it's going to handle really, really well. And the sway bars are going to work well on this truck, I believe. So this thing's definitely bashable for hitting those jumps. All right, so I'll just talk about this battery tray now. You got a, a fully adjustable battery tray in here, and you got the slider up in the front, so you could adjust everything. Uh, you running ten gauge wire on this stuff, so that's really heavy duty. So if you want to put some power to this thing, you got no issues with uh, with all that with your electronics. Um, that's that's pretty much it for that. Uh, we could talk about the rear here. Um, this is a new chassis, so everything is new, but I don't think every, you know, I don't think you're going to have problems with anything on this truck. Everything is, is super great. Uh, the bumper on the rear, uh, looks like it'll take a good hit if you do crash and bash this thing into something. Um, the differential on this truck is going to, you know, you got metal gears and everything, so you're going to have, I don't think you're going to have a problem with it. It should be super uh, bashable as far as, you know, putting the power to the pavement and putting this, uh, tires to the grip in the dirt and pushing some dirt up from underneath these wheels. I think it'll handle, uh, pretty good. Another thing I just wanted to point out, I don't know if you guys saw that before, but this motor has a aluminum motor mount in here. So it's really, really nice and easy to use two screws to adjust your motor and your gear mesh and your pinion mesh there. Uh, let's move to the back here a little bit. You got the big bore uh, shocks back here are, are really going to work well for this independent suspension. I uh, can't say enough about this thing. Uh, you know, everything is new on this truck for the, as far as the chassis. You got the 17 millimeter hexes on this. Uh, really, really beefy, beefy uh, arms back here. I mean, that's going to take some abuse, I think. I think it's going to really work well for this truck. Um, just everything working together, the suspension and whatnot. 
it's just going to work real well, I believe, in the dirt and handle some bashing and crashing through the rocks. All right, so the last thing I'm just going to point out is these tires. I know I talked about them already, but um, these tires look really, really good. These are the uh, D-Boots um, Fortress tire. Uh, just give a quick look in there. I mean, I think that's going to handle really, really well in all the conditions that we're going to be putting this truck through. Overall, guys, the Mojave... 6S, bashable truck. I mean, this thing looks super tough. I think it's going to handle really well for, like I said, the thrashing and bashing and crashing that we're going to be giving this truck. Um, it, it just, the suspension, I mean, it's got a long travel of suspension. So when we're flying high on those jumps, I think this thing is going to perform really, really well. And like I said earlier in the video that the body... I mean, it's it just really looks nice. They did a really nice job on this. And the chassis is going to take the brunt for the force in the body there, like I mentioned earlier. All right. I think it's just uh, Arma did a really good job on this truck. And we can't wait to get out there and do the first test run on this truck and do a little thrashing, bashing, crashing. All right. That's the uh, pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, don't forget to hit that bell to get all our notifications and our new videos that are coming out. Uh, we're going to have some great stuff coming at you. And like I said, don't forget to thrash, bash, and crash your trucks because that's what we do here. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Later.